Hey everybody, Logan here. I invite you today to go on a little bit of an adventure with me and our video crew. We are heading over uh, to a tree removal site that my buddies over at Crow Outdoor Services are doing. Uh, they called me and said they had a couple nice basswood logs off this tree. Uh, so they want to know if I wanted to saw them, and my answer is always yes. Uh, so this tree was damaged in a storm and it needed to be removed. Uh, so they're working on getting it down using a bucket lift. I'm going to go ahead and get the mill set up while they're working on it. Now my Norwood is portable. And what this means is I can move it to job locations like this and saw logs on site. So the first thing I need to do is drop my leveling jacks. And I want to position the mill to where it's sitting perfectly level. The last thing you want is to get a log on the mill and have the log trying to roll off. I always start my sawing days by putting a fresh blade on. A sharp blade is going to give you better quality lumber. It's easier to push and it's just quicker uh, if the blade is nice and sharp. And these blades will usually last anywhere from, let's say, four to eight logs. Depends on how wide the logs are. And just to hit you with a few specs on my mill, this is a Norwood HD36. That means it will hold a 36 inch log. Uh, the maximum cut on it is about 28 inches and I can go about 13 feet long. Uh, and I use water for lubrication on the blade, so I'm filling that up here. Uh, it's just water with dish soap. It helps keep the blade cool and keep sap off of it. And then I'll start paying attention to the logs. And I want to remove any limbs or knots on them. Uh, just make them so they roll nicely. And to get them on the mill, I use a set of ramps. And you see John and I getting those in place here. And I use these in conjunction with this electric winch. And what I do is I take the winch cable and I loop it over the top of the log and then come back underneath it. And then I hook it to the frame of the mill. And that way when I winch it in, what happens is the log just rolls along and once it gets to those ramps, it will roll right up them. These aren't huge logs, but I've loaded some monsters with this thing. Sometimes with an odd shaped piece like this guy that has a bunch of limbs coming off of it, you'll need a little bit of help uh, with a cant hook to get it to roll up there uh, because those odd shapes don't really roll real well. And this little odd shape piece, I'm going to live edge cut it because it's an interesting shape and I wouldn't get real good boards out of it. So this first cut is going to be a light cut to remove uh, some of those high spots and basically get me down to good solid wood and get rid of some of that bark. And this will just get discarded. Uh, one of the great things about sawing with my tree guys here, uh, they a lot of times can take this stuff away and just chip it so I don't have to worry about the disposal. Then after that bark's gone, I can start really making some good live edge boards. I'm going to cut these ones at two inches, which is kind of my standard for live edge stuff. Uh, and you can see the cuts go pretty quickly. Um, this is basswood, so it's pretty soft, uh, but really the hardness of the wood I haven't found to make that big a difference. I would cut oak or walnut just as fast as I'm cutting this basswood. A lot of times after I make a cut, I will move the head up and then call in my muscle, which in this case is John, and move these around. Because even though this is basswood and it's pretty light, um, it's really full of water. So uh, these guys can get a little heavy, especially if you're doing this during a long day. You can see we already have uh, four pieces taken off this log. And it's about at this point that, you know, if there's anything interesting happening in the log, like the spark inclusion, you can kind of check and see what the grain pattern looks like, look at the color, uh, and make a decision on whether you want to keep cutting from where it's at or flip the log over. Uh, and now we have the other piece of this tree on the mill. And this is the nice trunk. This is a, a good round log. There's a slight curve into it, but not that big a deal. So what I'll do with this, if it's a pretty straight piece like this, I'll make a cut, then I'll hook the winch up and I'll roll it 90 degrees. Uh, and what I'm doing here is I'm making four cuts to turn this into what is called a cant. So it's basically a big beam. Once all those cuts are made, I'll go ahead and decide how thick of boards I want to make off this piece. And then I can just go ahead and straight saw through the entire cant. And that will give me boards that are uh, nice, clean. They're sawn on four sides, so they're good. Uh, standard boards like you would get from a lumberyard. They're just going to be rough sawn. You can see getting through those boards is pretty quick. I can usually go through two logs in about an hour, give or take. 
Uh, and this is something I just absolutely love doing. I love saving logs like this. Uh, and I would do this all day, every day if I could. There's nothing better than saving a tree from the dump and getting a little bit of lumber for your shop.